Hello there folks, welcome to Silent Film Saturday, episode number 67. I'm your host, Joey DeAngelis, reviewing The Mysterious Lady, starring Greta Garbo. Now, the story goes a little something like this. Garbo plays a Russian spy who earns the affections of an Austrian, an Austrian officer, played by Conrad Nagel, and they fall in love. You know, unexpectedly on her end, she just intended to use him to get documents for her superior and also other love interest, played by Gustav von Seferfritz. And this causes a lot of problems for our main character, uh, Conrad Nagel plays Karl, because now he is suspected of being a traitor to the Austrian army. So, I talked about uh, The Flesh and the Devil last week, and I think I really enjoyed that one better than this one. Uh, if you really want me to do, do a comparison between those two. I think this is a fine enough movie. I think Garbo... Garbo, you know, obviously, you know, because of the um, cinematography in these movies, she always looks great. And in every scene, she is the most interesting element. Um, in addition to that, I think it's also kind of... Uh, I think there's some really cool shots in the movie at one point when you have our main character one of our, our main male character Carl's in prison you have like this nice almost tracking shot or this uh, almost zoom in to his uh, prison cell that he's locked up in, and I think it's really effective and when he's in prison he's kind of hallucinating he's thinking of the, the drums that were playing during his um, military degradation you know because when they accused him of being a traitor that's what happens and they have, like, the drums playing in, like, slow-mo, and it's rather effective, I think. Uh, another uh, notable shot for me was when he's actually playing piano at a party for the Russians, for, um, our characters, and he's playing the, uh, song that, you know, kind of unites he, him and, uh, Garbo. Garbo's character's named Tanya, by the way, and, you know, that, obviously you can kind of tell that Boris, who play who played by Gustav uh, von Severtitz, uh, is kind of a, is really aware that they kind of had something together, and he, do, he really doesn't like that. Obviously, um, other than that, I can't really say I think this is that great. Um, Conrad Nagel is a serviceable enough leading man. Gustav von Severtitz is okay as the antagonist. I mean, Garbo's great as usual, but. That's really all I have to say, and, and the shots that I mentioned, of course. Also, I'd like to mention that the musical score, played by Vivek, uh, conducted and composed by, I think it was just, it might have been, uh, and it was, it was definitely composed by Vivek uh, Mand Madala, uh, as a part of the TCM Young Composers uh, series, is also rather appropriate, with some nice reoccurring themes. Like I said, that song that kind of unites the Garbo and uh, the Garbo and Nagel characters in the movie. So, also there's an interesting commentary track, let me just... interesting commentary track uh, provided by... Um, Tony Maeda and Jeffrey Vance. Jeffrey Vance, I've listened to many of his commentary tracks, particularly on Chaplin films, and he's rather informative, generally. Um, so definitely check that. I would say if you're getting this box set, it's obviously another film to check out. Uh, so far, in my opinion, the main reason to get this set is for Flesh and the Devil, because I think it's a great movie. This movie, I think, is solid. Um, if you want more Garbo, I think this will, you know, satisfy your appetite. But for now, I leave you with this. Next time on Silent Film Saturday, I will be, I will review another Garbo film, The Temptress. See you next time.